Hello everyone, this is Ambi. Today we are going to install Python 3.6, pip 3.6 and make sure the default version of Python uh, when we create projects or when we want to do something with it is 3.x and not 2.7 or 2.x. 2.x is something which gets shipped automatically by default with any version of Linux that you see, that you download, uh, even at this day and age, even though uh, they are kind of supporting 2.0 x but not actually developing anything new there so um, without further ado um, if you before you go ahead and download install it you need to install a CentOS uh, repository ius i have already have it opened all you gotta do is just search online like this CentOS 7 ius repo you will get this uh, we are at CentOS 7 right click on it you can just click on it download the rpm install it like that or Copy link location, go here. J hmm. Right now I'm at a user. I suggest you to switch to root user for this because we wanna make these changes system wide and some of these might need some of those permissions. Yum install hyphen Y, right? Let me go ahead and um, Try to make this font bigger. Preferences, dark, shortcuts, profile, encodings. Come on, where is the font? Encodings, profile. Okay, we are going to edit this profile. Initial terminal size, blah, blah, command, colors. Scrolling, compatibility, narrow. Huh. Interesting. I don't see the font size here. Let me scroll back, blah, blah. Okay, I think colors. Okay, it should be somewhere here. Transparent background. I don't really want it. Um. Built-in schemes, Linux console. Okay, we don't want to apply any. Okay, let's apply Solarized. Okay. Then green and black. No. Custom team command. Wow, really? I don't have the. F I don't have the point. Initial terminal size. Okay, we're gonna increase this to 90 or whatever. Columns, rows, block, that's over. Custom font, 12. Okay, here we go. I think this should suffice for our purpose. Select, all right, okay, so now I think all of us can see properly. Okay, so this is what I ran, right? So it says it's already present because I've already installed uh, a repository that you want to install it. After that, we want to install the Python package. It's heard error, nothing to do. Okay, nothing to do. I am going to say clear again. And let me go ahead and install Python 3.6. But before that, if I run Python now, it's switched to 3.2.7 because that is a default version. What we want to do is we want to install m minus y install Python 36u. I know that there, uh, there is 3.7 right now. Uh, if you are a beginner working on serious projects and uh, some enterprise project, you might want to stick to a version which is one below the bleeding edge. 3.7 is the bleeding edge. 3.6 is not the bleeding edge. Tested, tested by many, right? Unless and until you have seen some features in 3.7 which you absolutely want it, you are waiting for it, then go for it. Otherwise, please stick to uh, one below the bleeding edge. So we want to install another package called pip, package, ma package manager for Python. 
and that we are going to do by again yum hyphen y for s install python 36 u hyphen pip all right so let's see what happens here what happens here downloading packages come on all righty almost there blame my internet not me okay so if i run pip it's not there pip3 not there pip3.6 so then it runs pip if i run python it still goes to 2.7 if i run python 3 no that is not how it you how you run it python 3.6 okay so if i want to run pip for python 3 i have to run pip 3.6 if i want to run python for python 3.6 i have to run python 3.6 i don't want to remember all that we want to make that as the default that is python 3.6 as the default python by pip 3.6 as the default pip how are we going to do that we are going to do that by setting an alias alias python equals python 3.6 basically i'm telling the operating system that whenever i run python you assume that it is python 3.6 not python okay so if i run python now 3.6 hooray it's the same way let's do python no oh, oops pip equals pip 3.6 if i run alias command now then now we can see the two alias that i have set here however i want to ma uh, make these changes persistent uh, these should be persistent across reboots yes right source the tilde icon that is above the tab key left tab next to number one below the escape key so you had you gotta hit that key with shift and then you get this flowing i don't know what you call i just call it tilde now these changes are persistent across the reboots so one more bonus that is virtual environment pip install virtual env Virtual environment is something which like a virtual machine for packages. Okay, so let's upgrade pip. Pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade pip. It's strange how they moved from 9 to 18. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they took all these sleeps. I don't know why they skipped in between. They just moved 18. Okay. 18 is a good number. 9 into 2 is 18. So 18 is a good number. Let's skip everything in between. So whatever. So if I want to create a virtual environment now, I have to say, what do oh, I don't have to say anything. I just have to type pip. Mm, not pip. Sorry, Python. Python hyphen m env and the name of the virtual environment, my env. No module named env. Okay. Virtual env hyphen m python. Virtual env, I will just say env zero. Okay, so just say virtual env and the uh, environment's name. That will go ahead and create it. It's creating, as you can see, the package. Uh, the, the version of Python that it is using to create that virtual environment is 3.6. Just say ls here. We want to remove that um, space hyphen rf env0. We don't want that. We just wanted to test it, right? So, thank you for tuning in. You have a great one. Take care.